a brief hands-on look at iOS 11 Beta 4. In iOS 11 Beta 4, the Notes app gets a brand new splash screen to introduce new users to the new features found in the Notes app. And while we're talking about the Notes app, there's also a slightly modified Notes app icon. And like the Notes app, the Photos app gets a brand new splash screen to introduce new features such as live photo effects and live photo editing. And the app icon for the Reminders app gets a somewhat peculiar update. This could be a bug or it could have something to do with Apple's support for right to left languages. And in iOS 11 Beta 4, the Contacts app icon gets an update as well. And if you're an eagle-eyed iOS user, you may notice the slightly modified Safari logo that Compass is pointing in a slightly different direction. And the Wi-Fi status bar icon is now more substantial. It has a slightly bolder look. And you're going to notice new icons at the bottom of Spotlight Search. So when you want to search the web, the App Store, or the Maps app, you now have corresponding app icons. You're going to notice an updated timer icon in Control Center right there. And you'll also notice a new screen recording icon animation. So you tap it, it counts down now, three, two, one. Pretty nice animation there. And speaking of screen recording, it now says start recording like it did in the initial betas instead of start broadcasting like it said in iOS 11 beta three. When enabling low power mode, you get a brand new animation as well. Looks like this. And there's also a new mute icon animation on the iPad. If you're looking for airdrop preferences, you'll now find those located in the settings app under the general section, its own dedicated panel now. And apparently Apple has updated the storage capacity values found in settings general about to reflect the capacities noted on marketing materials instead of the actual storage space. And in my opinion, a much overdue change, the app store now gets pulled or refresh on the updates tab. So now it's super easy to check for the latest updates on the app store. Lock screen notification swipe interactions are back, so now you can swipe left to view or clear, or swipe right to open, and if you swipe all the way in either direction, it will perform that action respectively. And you get new UI for opening apps from their notifications, so if I tap here, you can see Touch ID to open the Messages app directly from the lock screen, or you can use a passcode if you wish. And you'll notice in Beta 4 that the app switcher will close once it's empty. And if the app switcher is empty, when you invoke it, it won't open. And one final note, iCloud Message Sync has been relocated to the iCloud section of the Settings app. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at iOS 11 Beta 4. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.